In this video, we'll take a tour of dashboard elements to understand the three underlying principles that are common across all of them. First, let's look at the data that shows up in a chart, pivot, or any other dashboard element. Those data items are always going to be here for all dashboard elements. Notice that as they change, the representation is a little bit different, but the idea remains the same. The items bound to the elements will always appear here. Next, let's look at the interaction between the element and data. To do that, let's go to the Data tab. You can create filters for the data that show up in the element, and also master filters to control how data is shown across many elements. Next, we have drill down features available for almost all elements. In the case of the gauge, this looks a little bit different because the same options are not available. However, there is a data tab just like every other element. Finally, you can control the look and feel of the dashboard with the design tab. For a chart, it allows you to select the chart type. But for a gauge, you'll be able to select a different kind of gauge. So when working with dashboards, we have to consider three things. First, the data that's bound to it. How we interact with the data. And how that data is shown. Because there's a commonality between hidden items, let's talk about that now. Let's go to the Open Issues by Month. Notice when I edit a filter, the only elements I can filter on are those that are in the visual part of the dashboard element. If we want to filter by an element that's not in the dashboard element, we use the hidden dimensions. So for example, say we want this chart to be Open Issues by Month, Critical. We drop the issue type into the Dimensions section, Right-click Edit Filter, and now we can select the issue type to filter on. We'll select the critical value and hit Apply. Notice this chart is now a little bit different because it has filtered the data based upon the hidden dimension called issue type. Next, let's talk about hidden measures. Notice we have a hidden measure in here. Let me take that out and show you what this does. So when you're looking at arguments, for example, product names, you can sort by these items that show up, or the values that show up. I'll sort by open, and automatically the most opened items will go to the top and filter down to the bottom. If I sort descending, it flips it. If I want to sort based on a value that doesn't exist, we drag a measure onto this particular item. I'll choose issue type index, and I'll choose Account. This will allow us to sort the items depending upon the issue type. The issue type index is just a number that's mapped to whether it's critical, normal, or urgent. Now let's go to Sort By and sort by the issue index. Because it's sorted in ascending order, we have the smallest issue type here, the second largest, and then the third largest. If we did descending, you'll see that it gets flipped. So all dashboard elements have the notion of hidden data items, and these hidden data items allow you to filter and sort items that aren't displayed in the dashboard element. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.